Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this beautiful lacy pendant. It's easy to make and I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell, also liking and sharing this video in this way you help me so much check description for useful resources and you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member the last one comes with perks that you could check in the link in description thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads i use silver and red you could use others of your choice but let them be contrasting here i'm using a bale this is a chain and this is if you want to make a pendant if you want to turn this into earrings you will need earring findings of course now this is nylon nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters or size b i'm using soft nylon thread don't use monofilament for this work because it will start bending here i'm using size 11 beading needle you could use size 12 as well if you want if it will be easier for you maybe you will handle it with size 10 but it will be more difficult i also use here scissors and i use flat nose pliers to attach my bail to my work okay and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm going to start my work by picking up 28 of those beautiful red beads okay guys and i have here my 28 beads four times by five and two times by four it's 28 you should check it to be sure you start with the right amount of beads okay now i'm going to slide this down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is to make a knot and here this knot is a little bit tricky guys that is why i'm going to do this slowly and carefully always when you do a knot with a lot of beads it's tricky so first i make a loop and i go twice through the loop i've made and then i pull gently really gently making sure i'm between the beads the first and the last beat okay now i have this and now what i want to do is to make one more knot okay you know it's tricky and now i have this uh, first difficult part out of my way now in my next step guys i want to go through some beads in this direction and i'm going to start adding silver beads take one silver skip this one that's on my way and go through the following and pull you see how they arrange like in a zigzag manner then i take one more skip the one that's on my way and i go through the following okay then again i take one silver skip the one that's on my way and go through the following and pull again silver skip the one that's on my way and go through the following and now i'm going to continue this until the end here and i'll meet you at this last step and i'm here guys where i need to add my last bead from this row okay and now you should have this now what i want to do next is go here in this silver bead and as i'm exiting from this silver i'm going to take seven 
red beads okay I have here my seven and as I'm exiting from this silver I'm go I'm skipping the next silver and going through the following and I have this then I need seven red beads again skip the next silver and go through the following Okay, seven again. Skip the next silver and go through the following. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. And I'm going through the silver. And here I want to go through almost all of my beads and I want to exit here one red bead away from the silver you see where I'm exiting here and my thread is one red bead away from the silver and I need five silver beads okay five silvers and I go in the same place uh, here one bit away from the silver and through the next bit okay now I have this then again I'm going through all of those bits exiting one bit away from the silver I take five beads again and go here one bit away from the silver then again I'm here one bit away from the silver angle I take five and I go in the same place Okay. now this is what I have and I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row and I'll meet you here okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and I must warn you that your work will bend at this stage but don't worry we'll fix it later with the next thread pads that's why I'm saying don't use monofilament because with the monofilament uh, it will have even more tension okay now I'm exiting through the middle one of these seven beads that I added in my previous steps how I know it's the middle one okay I'm exiting of this one here I have one two three and here I have one two three so it means this is the middle one and I'm going to pick up four red beads and go here in the central central silver bead then again I'm going to pick up four and go here in the central one of those seven red beads that I added in my previous row okay how I find the central one I count one two three and this fourth one is the central one because here I also have one two three from this side that is how I know it's the central okay I take four again and go in the middle one of the five beads the one that is sticking out the most in this case then I'm going to take four and go here in the central bead of the seven that I added in my previous row and see how my work starts to straighten up okay and I need four and go in the central silver and four 
and go in the central red. And four. And go here. Okay, and I'm going to continue doing this until the end and I'll meet you here. And here I am guys where I'm adding my last four beads from this row and you see how my work looks much better at this stage will make it look even better. Okay, now I will continue with my next step. In order to do this I want to go here one red bead away from the angle you see where I'm exiting. I take five silver beads, okay, five of them, and I go in the same place, one red bead away from the angle. Okay, and then here at the angle, I'm going to put just one bead and go like this through three beads. And now I am at the same place, one red bead away from the angle. You see where my thread is. Okay, and I take five again. And I go here at the same place and through three red beads. And here I add just one. Go, again go through three five again like this and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next if you forgot how I'm doing it you could always rewind and see and repeat it from the other side okay my friends and i'm adding here my last five beads then i need to add my last red one and then what i need to do is go here in the middle silver again and I'm going to pick up five red beads and I will go here in this bead that we added in our previous step. Then five again and I go here in the central silver one. Again five and go in the this middle red one that we added in our previous row. Five again. And you see guys how each row looks better and better in this work. Okay, I will continue this and meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay, and I just want to show you how good it looks at this stage when you put it on the black background. It's really cool. And now what I want to do is go here one beat after the angle. Okay, you see where I'm exiting and I'm going to pick up one red beat. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Take another red bead. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Then again, I'm taking just one red bead and I'm going in the next one here. one skip this one go through the following and pull 
I'm forming here peyote stitch then another go here at this one and at the one at the angle and pull then I want to go just one red after the angle you see where I am take one red skip the one that's on my way and go through the following one red skip the one that's on my way and go through the following then here at the angle i need one more red go in the following a red one skip and go in the following again skip and go in the following and at the angle and then i will continue this one bit after the angle one 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 and i will continue this until the end if you forget how i'm doing this just rewind the video and repeat these two steps until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last red bead from this row i'm pulling then in my next step what i want to do is go through these two reds this one and the one that's sticking out and now this will be my last row then here what i need is just one red bead and i'm going in the next red one okay and pull then i need two reds and i go through the one that's sticking out the most at the angle then again i need two and go in the next one that is sticking out and then again one and i'm aiming here for the angle just to save time okay now i have this and i'm going to repeat this going here through the one that's just after the angle then through the one that is sticking out you could do it in one movement if you want then i'm taking just one red then again two red beads two again go through this one and one and aim for the angle you see okay now i'm going to continue i'm going through this one and this one at one then two then again two then again one aim for the angle then exit out of this one and continue this until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last red bead from this row and you see now how cool it looks on the black background it's really nice okay and now i'm going to show you how to make a loop where you should attach your bale okay I want to go in this direction and I'm exiting here one bit away from this central red bead I'm taking five silver beads and I go back like this then I'm going to reinforce it and cut my thread
Okay, I just reinforce it. Now I will find a place to make a knot. Let's say here between those two beads. I make a loop. And I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made. I pull. Then I will go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to cut my thread as close as possible to my work. Now guys, I'm going to put the bail and the chain on my work and I'll be back. Okay guys, and with the finishing touch I did here, my pendant is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button. And in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. And by the way, see how this one looks in if you make it in black, if you prefer this color. Check description for useful resources, also a link to my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might want to support me in PayPal by becoming or by becoming a member. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.